One of the awesome things about sous vide is you can make things like vegetables incredibly tasty. That's really important for people like me because that allows us to bring balance back into our diet easily. The saying you are what you eat has a lot of truth to it. It's important that we balance out all the awesome foods that we eat with some healthy foods also like carrots. That's right, we're gonna cook carrots in the sous vide. Don't click the back button. I'm gonna show you how to do carrots in a way that you're gonna absolutely look forward to. Did you know Bugs Bunny actually didn't like carrots? Mel Blanc, the voice for the cartoon character Bugs Bunny, absolutely didn't like carrots. If he had a sous vide, maybe he'd like carrots. Stick around, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. The carrot is a root vegetable and its origins trace back to Afghanistan like 5,000 years ago or so. It was originally grown for medicinal purposes rather than food. A lot of people boil carrots in water. The problem with boiling carrots in water, when you boil carrots in water, you boil out a lot of the minerals, the color, and the great stuff that comes with the carrots. Sous vide kind of changes the game with that. Carrots are loaded with things that our body need, like fiber, vitamin C, vitamin B6, potassium. They're just really good for our body, and if we can find ways to make carrots so that people like me, who don't normally enjoy those kinds of things, will eat them and be happy about eating them, we're gonna be healthier, we're gonna be happier, and we're all gonna be better off for it. So let me show you how to make some carrots that you're not gonna slide off into the trash can when you're done. I'm doing eight carrots. You can do between six and 10 before you'll need to adjust your sous vide time. While I'm peeling these carrots, I just want to thank you for stopping by the channel. If you haven't been here before, please hit the subscribe button down below and you can stay in touch with our videos to do with food and beer. I'm cooking with the Anova Precision Circulator and this thing has been absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to scroll the little wheel there up to 183 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm going to hit the on button and it's going to start circulating for us. Very simple to use. So, first thing we need to do with sous vide is take our bag and hold the top of it down. If you get food on it or oils, it won't seal properly. Now I took the carrots and I chopped the ends off of each carrot. I have eight whole carrots and they'll easily fit in one sous vide bag. I, I cut my own bag and I cut it to about, it's about 16 inches or so. I'm gonna put four tablespoons of butter in there and I'm gonna put some salt. And some pepper. When you boil the vegetables, the water takes away a lot of the colors, the minerals, and it really breaks down a lot of the good part of the vegetables. When you sous vide it, that doesn't happen. Everything stays right there, including the flavor. We're gonna add two, about two teaspoons of brown sugar. And last but not least, we're gonna add just a little bit of honey. I'm gonna say about a teaspoon. We're gonna put our bag in. And with the food saver, you just stick it in and it seals it automatically. It's got all the air out, and now it's gonna seal it. Don't need to worry about where the butter and everything is. It'll displace during cooking. There we go. All right, so we're up to 183 degrees. We're gonna slide our carrots in. If they wanna float for some reason, you'll have to put something on top of them. Um, 
I'm not having a problem, so uh, I'm gonna leave them as is for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Um, we're gonna go for about an hour and a half. That's the end of our hour and a half. However, I'm gonna give you a pro tip. Don't cut the bag open until you've kind of bent them back and forth to make sure they're nice and soft. In this case, they're done, but I have run into some carrots that take longer to cook. Another pro tip for you, make sure you don't dump your juices out. Those juices are where a lot of flavor and a lot of minerals are. Keep those juices and you can drizzle it over your carrots when you plate them. I can honestly tell you until this point in my life, I had never smelled a carrot or carrot dish that smelled appealing that I wanted to eat. This was absolutely amazing. I could have cut these with a butter knife. They were so soft. They were perfect. One thing I can tell you, Bugs Bunny would have loved these carrots. I really appreciate you sticking around to watch the whole video. Check out these other videos over here. You may very well be interested in those also. The inspiration behind the videos is your feedback. And the best way to give me your feedback is to hit the like button down below. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below and you can also leave comments. I can't wait to see you next time.